This video is brought to you by Ultium. In today's episode, you will learn how to make Raspberry Pi Pico and Bluetooth based home automation project. The Raspberry Pi Pico would have been the best microcontroller board if it was provided with the onboard Bluetooth and Wi Fi, just like the ESP32 Wi Fi Plus Bluetooth module. Today on the market, Raspberry Pi Pico is the cheapest microcontroller board which you can get only for $4 from the DF Robot and Amazon. Anyway, no worries at all if the Raspberry Pi Pico doesn't come with the onboard Bluetooth module because we can externally connect a Bluetooth module and start controlling different electrical loads wirelessly using a smartphone app. For this project, I selected HC05 Bluetooth module because it's cheap and easily available. I have been using HC05 Bluetooth module with Arduino and ESP8266 Wi-Fi module for controlling different things wirelessly using an Android cell phone application. For this project, I also designed my own Android cell phone application using Android Studio. I have a very detailed article on how to design your own Bluetooth supported Android cell phone application. I will provide a link in the description if you want to design your own smartphone application like the one I'm using. Anyways, before I'm going to explain the circuit diagram and programming, first let's watch the Raspberry Pi Pico and Bluetooth based home automation project in action. This video is sponsored by Ultium. Ultium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultium Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development, Focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for the delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. If you want to get started with the Ultium Designer, then you can click on the first link in the description. When everything is powered up, never touch the relay contacts and other exposed wires as 110 or 220 volt AC can be really dangerous. Don't forget to wear the protective gloves and it's good to have someone with you while performing such high voltage experiments. Right now I'm using three different voltage sources. I'm using 5 volts regulated power supply with the Raspberry Pi Pico, 12 volts power supply with the relay module and 220 volt AC to power up the lights. Next I'm going to connect my Android cell phone app with the HC05 Bluetooth module. As you can see the Bluetooth module is connected and now I can start controlling the lights. I have used the same Bluetooth module with different controller boards but the way it works with the Raspberry Pi Pico is simply amazing. I didn't see any delays and false triggering. Raspberry Pi Pico is insanely fast and it's better than Arduino in every aspect. Think about the Raspberry Pi Pico board twice before you think of purchasing the Arduino board for your upcoming Bluetooth controlled robotic car project, door lock project, etc. Anyways, now you have got an idea of what exactly you are going to learn after watching this video. So without any further delay, let's get started. <laughs> The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from DF Robot and Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The circuit diagram of the Raspberry Pi Pico and Bluetooth based home automation project is very simple. 
VCC and ground pins of the HC05 Bluetooth module are connected with the Raspberry Pi Pico 3.3V and ground pins. TXT and RXT pins of the Bluetooth module are connected with the GP4 and GP5 pins of the Raspberry Pi Pico. A 4-channel relay module is connected with the GP28, 27, 26 and 22. You can use a ready-made relay module or you can build a one yourself by following these connections. All four relays are of the type SPDT, single pole and double throw. To control these relays, I am using 10 kilo ohm resistors and 2N2222 NPN transistors. Don't forget to connect the ground of the relay module with the ground of the Raspberry Pi Pico. Here is my DIY homemade 4 channel relay module. If you want to make the same 4 channel relay module, then you can download the Gerber files from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. For the demonstration purposes, I am going to control these 220 volt AC light bulbs. If you want, you can also use other AC or DC loads. Now I am going to connect these lights with the relay module. I completed all the connections as per the circuit diagram. Now let's take a look at the programming. If you have just started with the Raspberry Pi Pico then I highly recommend watch my complete course video on the Raspberry Pi Pico because there are so many things which I believe you need to know like for example micro python installation, Tony IDE installation, Raspberry Pi Pico specifications, its comparison with Arduino how to use GPIO pins, how to install libraries and so on. The Raspberry Pi Pico and Bluetooth based home automation programming in MicroPython is far simpler than the Arduino programming. We simply import the UART pins to which the Bluetooth module is connected. Next we define the baud rate which is the communication speed in bits per second. I also imported the time which I can use for creating delays. Next I defined the pins to which all the four relays are connected. Rest of the code is pretty straightforward. We check if any data is available on the serial port. Then we read the serial port, decode the command and then finally convert the command into a string. Finally we check every command which is received from the Android cell phone and then accordingly Turn on and turn off the relay. So that's all about the programming. Final step is to save the code in the Raspberry Pi Pico board. Save the file with the name main.py. Now let's go ahead and watch the Raspberry Pi Pico and Bluetooth based home automation project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.